that was big story. Republic is following is Snoopgate. And as you know, it's the biggest financial scam in the country and only Republic is following this. And on Snoopgate, this is what has happened. Sanjay Pandey, arrested yesterday, former Mumbai police commissioner, says, I'm not part of the Nexus. But if he was not part of the Nexus, then how was a company in which he had a controlling stake an entity he controlled, how was the company analyzing the data that was the result of the phone tapping? So I think what Sanjay Pandey is saying is absolutely absurd. Let's debate. The snooping scandal is getting bigger by the day, with former Mumbai Police Commissioner Sanjay Pandey sent to nine days of Enforcement Directorate custody. Sanjay Pandey has made a stunning revelation before the court. He says, yes, recording was taking place but says that this was being done by the National Stock Exchange and he had nothing to do with it. He wants us to believe that he did not provide those machines and the fact that tapping was actually taking place, but he gives it a new twist. He says that this was only for analysis and not live monitoring. Sanjay Pandey was silent when asked about his role by Republic. Sir, I just want to know, sir, that was Sucheta Dalal was the one who introduced your company to uh, Krishna? Sucheta Ramakrishnan, sir, please. Sir, was, was Sucheta Dalal the journalist, sir, who introduced you to Sucheta Ramakrishnan, sir? Please, sir, tell, please tell, sir. But the remand application of the ED speaks for itself. Republic TV has now accessed this 12-page ED document, which makes massive revelations. ED says that Chitra Ramakrishna was choosing the numbers which are to be monitored. And not just that, Enforcement Director also says that Sanjay Pandey was actually aware that illegal interception was being done. In fact, ISEC Securities Private Limited was submitting reports to the National Stock Exchange in the garb of saying that these are periodic study of cyber vulnerabilities. If a former cop was deeply involved in Snoopgate, how many higher-ups had their hands dirty too? Let's debate.